tech cocktail conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. So Keep is a mobile rewards network where essentially we realized that you know, you'd know you be playing some games sometimes on your phone and it would ask you, hey, you know what, pay a dollar to remove these ads? You know you're in really big trouble when people are paying to remove something. Um, and so we figured, you know, there has to be a better way. So we noticed that when people are playing games, there's one thing that every single game has in common, and that's the achievement. Everybody levels up, everybody gets a top score, everybody's happy. So we asked ourselves, what if we could reward you? What if you could level up and get a free latte from the Starbucks across the street? And so we decided to create this rewards network where we now have 120 games, about 10 million people in the U.S. playing, and brands can be a part of giving you something back for being you and being awesome. So expectations are one. I actually have the highest expectations on myself. I think if you have the most pressure on yourself, that's when it eases the pain of everything else. Um, but I think a lot of it is we like to try to stick to our, our guns and understanding what the vision is. And it has not changed since we started. It was always about rewarding for achievements. Now, whether it be achievements in games, whether it be you running 10 miles in Nike Plus, I don't care. It's still an achievement. And the reward has to just be something that's reciprocating, right? That's giving you back. And we talk about sort of back in high school physics classes, like with every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Why can't that exist in digital, right? So, I mean, the, the, the pressure is there that we realize that we actually have more of a responsibility in just trying to change this industry, frankly. I think that's the pressure that I'm excited by. It fuels us every single day. We wake up in the morning, we're like, we're going to really make it so that people don't hate ads anymore. Younger entrepreneurs, I think the misconception is that we're kind of firecrackers, we're, we're naive, and we're, we're kind of uh, uh, loose cannons, and we go off there, and we're, we're destructive. It's both a misconception and it's kind of real <laughs> in that we're, we're, we're that way in, in, in very productive ways. You know, we're, we're only being ignorant of what's reality because we want to disrupt something in the way that nobody else had ever thought of it before. What happened was I got laid off from Dig, right? So I realized that I had no control over my own destiny there. I was paying for someone else's mistakes. And frankly, the motivation was, hey, you know, if I actually did my own thing and I controlled and I knew that what I put in was what I would get out, that was what changed me. And I don't know if that's a healthy motivation from the beginning, but I guess it turned out pretty good. Um, it was part of trying to be very much so in control of what I could contribute and then get back. First of all, don't take my advice. Don't listen to anybody's advice because it all worked for them in their circumstance. It doesn't work for you. Take that broad strokes. But I think one of it is generate your own luck, right? You can actually create your own luck. And the best place to do that, and whoever's already here is already doing that, is the fact that you're around like-minded people, right? But everybody always says, well, oh, okay, I'm going to wait for this person to do this and that. You actually control everything that you do. And if you can put in your email, you can reach out to 100 people, you can go and you know, stalk someone at a party, make sure you get in front of their face or whatever you need to do, do what you need to do because no one else is going to do it for you. And asking is so under, like, incredibly underrated, right? If you, don't, if you don't ask someone for help, they don't know how to help you, right? It's that simple. So if you get out there, try to carve your own path and take that first step, you got to do it, and you got to be aggressive about it. And I think there's a lot of people who fail to realize that, okay, rather than making an app or a layer or something that's just like filling a hole, try to f like change shit up. And Elon was like, you know what? I think we need private space flight. I'm going to go do it, right? That's the coolest part, right? And so hopefully more and more people will realize it and start spending time pushing the human race forward rather than just filling holes.